everybody happy sunday i hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing you are having an amazing weekend i'm currently at a ren fair as this is going out but that's okay because i'm filming this ahead of time and look progress is being made on the greenhouse we've had to buy some pipe clamps that we're going to be putting in and hopefully by the time this goes out my wife and i will have put the rest of the frame up and maybe just maybe that green thing over there is the cover we'll have put that up too we need to make a special gate here to make sure that the wind can't get into the greenhouse and take it off and we also need to cut these pipes at the appropriate time but check this out my tomatillos are doing amazing now i know that not everybody knows what a tomatillo is if you don't live in the US or Canada you may not know but basically it, it looks a little bit like a tomato but it grows inside this this little uh, this little casing here it's a little tartar it's used in in Mexican food and it's very tasty so these are my tomatoes we've got some wonderful tomato selections going on up here and I have finally put all the soil in this one now so that I can put my cucumbers in and be ready for that. I am very excited to see what growing fun we are going to have in the coming days and months and the greenhouse itself when it gets on I think is really going to help these tomatoes although to be fair they're growing. They're flowering, they are happy, I'm not going to complain. Let's check out the rest of the garden because we've had some progress here with some of the plants that are growing. We've got our first broccoli, uh, heading broccoli of the season. You can see it right down here. Check that out. It is growing nicely. I can't decide whether it's trying to bolt or not, or whether it's just, you know, getting in on the act. We've got some more broccoli there and here. This one looks really lovely. I think this one is going to be growing just amazingly. I think someone may have reached in, maybe a deer, and eaten some of that, as they are wont to do. You'll notice that my leeks have been knocked over. That is because of gophers. Gophers have got in underneath and uh, they do bad things. Gophers are bad, at least when you're trying to grow things. But you know what's not bad? My runner beans. Check them out. These guys are really going absolutely bonkers growing up here as are these they're just starting to start their their creeping process and so they are going to be growing up the vine here sky 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 has something that she shouldn't and uh, i don't want her to go onto the road so come on sky good girl Sky is growing at an incredible rate. She's nearly the same size as ghost um who is chilling out on the doorstep right now because he doesn't like the noise and um, she's really becoming a really nice little little pup uh, we've got some weeds down here but we've also got some brassicas which I think are broccolis coming up here and this one I have started to weed it it's just a very low slow process I've had other priorities but I have put my fava beans or my broad beans up and they are looking amazing look at all those flowers if I was so inclined I could eat just the the tops of the the bro of the broccoli of the broad beans or the fava beans and they would look amazing and they would taste amazing but I'm gonna just leave them for now because I do like the beans my first raspberry flowers are coming in which is also lovely and down there we see some strawberries again I need to weed because well this time of year everything grows really quickly and I must admit with everything else I'm doing like the, the channel and everything else I am struggling a little to keep up. I didn't cut my grass this week because it's been so warm. I've wanted to give the grass a bit of a break. I haven't watered today though because it's been nice and cool. But check out my corn. My corn really is now starting to shoot up, which is good because we like corn. And hopefully if I put some right, you know, the right fertilizers and things in, we'll get some good corn out of it. Sky, what are you eating over there? she's eating things she shouldn't the chickens are doing well check out the chooks they are happy they are laying nicely at the moment they're not very happy that they are stuck in here but it's the time of year when coyotes like to come out and earlier this week i saw what i thought was a massive dog crossing the road until i saw its tail and i was like oh that's a raccoon yeah don't really want a raccoon 
coming and doing things that uh, like eating the chickens, which they will do. They will attack the chickens. Look at my roses though. They are coming out amazingly well. Now this rose is actually a natural rose, a briar rose that's come out of the rose that used to be there, but it's still the same color and it looks amazing. This is a floribunda that I absolutely love and it reminds me of my sister because it's nice and pink. This rose is called Rosie the Riveter. And this is, um, I think that one is named after one of the popes. Not that I'm particularly religious, but it was just a pretty rose. At the front of the house though, check this out. <laughs> Hello, are you a good girl? Is a sky. Um, we've got the sunflowers, they're coming up amazingly. I'm going to have to knock back some of this, uh, this mint because this mint is growing at an inordinate speed. More sunflowers. My primroses and my marigolds are doing great. The grass is doing great. And then this little section here with the, um, the pansies and the violas, again, looking great. My sweet peas at the end there. And it's all looking amazing. Coming over here, we've got some nasturtium flowers coming in and you can eat nasturtiums. So, you know, they're really good. My hostas are looking great. And then in here, in this greenhouse, we have all of the things that wanted uh, to grow, um, but decided, uh, well, all of the things that want to go and grub outside, but I haven't had room for, for putting them out. So things like this tomato plant here that it has put some flowers up because it wants to make tomatoes. We've got some more tomatoes there. We've got the cucumbers that are getting desperate. They want to go outside. More tomatoes here. But I want to show something here just as a kind of a point of don't ever get put off. So right here we have um, melons called Eel River. They took forever to germinate, but they are finally coming up. And ditto here. We've got one coming up here. Same with this watermelon. I had I had genuinely thought that I wasn't going to get any watermelons to germinate. It's been about three weeks and yet they're now coming out. So don't be put off because... Germination will, will either happen or it won't. And if it happens, you never know. You might get some exciting things. Also, aren't plants weird? So this was a, a pepper that I decided I wasn't going to prick out and put in its own pot. And yet it is growing faster and better than all of the ones that I have pricked out, which are over here. These are all really tiny still and kind of feeling a bit weedy and small. So I guess I... I'll see what happens with the peppers. I'm hoping that we get some, hello Sky. I'm hoping that we actually get some good growth here, but if we don't, we don't. Over here though, we have amazing things happening. These, well, okay. So those who know plants will know that this is a potato and it's a potato growing alongside some parsnips. These are volunteer potatoes that obviously were left in the soil from last year and I've just decided just to leave it growing because it looks healthy. I'm not seeing any, any, any you know, disease or anything on the leaves and the parsnips and the potatoes seem to be happy together. So I'm just going to leave it rather than mess everything up and try and break them up. The actual parsnips that are on their own though, they are also looking incredible. I've got some lettuce coming here. I've got some lettuce coming here. And finally, it's taken forever, but I do have some, some carrots. Just thinking about coming up there and over here, the volunteer parsnips from last year. Well, they're not really growing very quickly. And I wonder if that's just because they've had enough and they don't want to grow anymore or whether it's because, you know, they've been sat in the ground for a year and, and now they've decided to start growing and Everyone knows you shouldn't really grow parsnips beyond the season that they were originally destined to grow in. These are my late crop potatoes. They are growing. These ones unfortunately got too wet and, and they have deceased. But the rest of the t uh, potatoes are doing great. And I'm just going to leave them there and they will slowly grow. They are a lot slower to grow than the other potatoes. But if you come over here these fellas here are my earlies and look at all the lovely foliage and all of the flowers the more flowers you have generally the more potatoes you'll get underneath so i'm just going to leave them and let them grow and while i'm at it i was talking to a friend this week they didn't realize that it's possible it's possible to have 
um, it's possible to have tomatoes and potatoes growing on the same plant. You can graft, you can graft potatoes and tomatoes together or graft tomatoes onto potatoes, maybe. That's the way of doing it. I think there might be a dog being unwell over there, so I'm going to go and check on him in a second. Um, but over here, the pièce de résistance of this video, the thing I wanted to show all of you, look at these. All of the apples. I may have to take some of these apples off or, or hold this, this branch up so it doesn't break as the apples grow, but this apple tree, as well as this one over here and the one out the back. They're all going really incredibly well right now. I've got some lovely fruit coming on here and I cannot wait to taste these apples because it's the first year that we've really had a whole lot of apples growing and I would love to know if you have apples and what type of apples you're growing and uh, maybe what you're going to do with them, whether you're going to cook with them, whether you're going to eat them, how you put them in storage. These are things I need to figure out right now because I know that there's going to be more apples than I can eat in one go. Anyway, on that note, we are done with today's chicken and garden update. If you do have comments, leave them below. You can drop us a polite note in the Discord chat room. You can reach out to us on Mastodon or if you're a Patreon supporter, you can leave a comment there. If you want more, subscribe, hit the bell and follow the links below to regularly support us to the YouTube membership or a Patreon subscription. You'll also find links to our Kofi Bitcoin and swag store as well as that aforementioned Mastodon server. Scrolling on my right is a list of amazing charged up supporters and shout outs go out to our VTG Patreon supporters, Pedro Mora Pinheiro, Alan Tupper, Andrew Martin, Bennett Elder, Brophy Wolf, Chris Maxwell, Cyprian Laplace, Dan Blair, Gordon C, Hey Asker, John Tramal, Kyle Fox, Mark Eggleton, Peter Dillinger, Regine Fellows, Sean Tucker, Stefan Framgen, Stephen Williams, Taslet in the Gong, Paul Bricknell, Tony Moss, Carl Hodgson, Chris Asentart, Denny Hyde, Lance Schlal, Linda Irish, Mike Weeder, and Paul Nelson. And finally, thanks to our off grid supporters. They are Paul Conway, Kevin Barrowbridge, Stephen O'Donoghue, Jim Burness, Robert Flannery, Aaron Hahn, Ellery Hansley, Rory Litwin, JP Fagerback, Dave Kitchen, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, Chris and Michael Johnson, Clay Witt, CPU Freak 101, Eric Neck, Joe Bresney, Joe Hughes, John Henderson, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Drobnak, Nigel S, Reggie Watts, Will Graylin, and of course, Ian. Don't forget that we produce content every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, as well as Saturday on the main channel. Plus on Sunday over here on Take Two, you get the, the chicken and garden update, which you've just watched. And then our Sunday musing, which you can watch later on today. Whatever you enjoy next, whatever you do next, I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And as always, keep evolving. Keep evolving.